sir what is going on youtube it's your boy denali aka don squally we back at it with another forza horizon 3 build video oh my god man it takes my breath away every single time and uh not because i like myself because it's a lot to say right there uh but for today's video man we have a request coming from somebody one person in specific on our youtube channel man James Patterson wants to see a Ford Lotus Cortina build, man. Um, I'm not going to lie. I didn't even know what this car was until I uh, looked it up here before I started this video, man. And I have to say, this car, uh, very nice, very dope, very classic. Now, I'm not 100% sure. But this could be like an Australian-only car or Australia-only car. Uh just gonna skim through a couple of our options here and see if we can find the one that we're looking for the lotus cortina now this is a left hand drive so chances are chances are it could have been released in the united states never even seen one of these things before in my life uh so what i think we're gonna do for this one is probably do a rat rod build man um, simply because the rat rod builds seem to be pretty popular on the channel lately. So I think, uh, you know, anytime I get an old classic car like this that I'm not really sure exactly what to do with it, man. Um, I mean, a rat rod builds pretty easy go to, um, but right off of the bat, what I think we're probably going to have to do is check out some engine options here. Now, as you can see, a 60, 86 kilowatts, like what? 130, 140 horsepower, man, two liter. Uh, inline four looks like it's out of a Honda to be honest um, not even an option for a V8 which is kind of crazy so we're getting the 3.2 liter out of a BMW I don't know why this would be a Ford I mean it's it's a Ford Lotus so this had to be some sort of a collaboration back in the 50s or sorry the 60s um really weird though that we're not getting any ford v8 power plant options here and only european japanese um obviously the two liter i believe is out of a honda really weird man um but nonetheless we're gonna keep it moving here now as you can see lotus this is a ford but a lotus man that's super mind-boggling boggling to me uh if somebody could maybe explain like the history down in the comment section exactly how this um this partnership came about maybe enlighten some of us man but um i mean the car looks nice it's just a weird partnership that i didn't know was ever a thing man so um you learn something new every day and i mean a lot of people criticize me for playing forza and making youtube videos think it's you know a waste of time a waste of my life da 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 uh, but, you know, this is one of my hobbies, and as you can see, through one of my hobbies, I'm also still learning things, you know, every single day here about uh, different cars that I never even knew existed, man. So really, it, it's got its kind of little informational purpose to it as well, and, you know, that's, that's at least what I tell people here. Um, I'm going to skim through a couple of wheel options here until I find something I like. It's, nothing really looks good on this car right now, so... I'll get back to you guys when I find something that suits this beast. Now, before we jump into the paint section, we got to jump into the tuning. Now, gearing, I have a funny feeling we're not going to get anywhere near that top speed. So I'm just going to adjust this a little bit more towards acceleration. Uh, any roll bars and alignment, we're going to leave stock. One thing I'm going to do is just lower the front a little bit. And I notice the back's tucking just a little bit more than the front is. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take care of that. And that's looking good for this classic car. It's not going to be too fast, but I think it's going to be, uh, you know, relatively quick. So next up comes the fun part of finding a old rat rod skin for this one. So I'm just going to skim through a couple of different options here uh, until I find something that I like. Now, to be honest, there's a couple of really decent looking racing skins on here, man. I almost wish that I didn't say that at the beginning of the video where I committed to the rat rod scheme, but uh, I'm going to skim through a couple of different options here, let you guys know what I come up with. 
So really for the rat rod uh, actual theme, not meant too many different options, but I did see a couple half decent ones in here. Um, there was one in particular, this guy right here. This is actually looking really dope. Has the little wide body thing going on here. And I mean, compared to some of these other ones, I think that's going to be the way that we're going to go for this one. So we're going to go ahead, save this to the current car. And now that we got that out of the way, man, we are ready to hit the road. Now, really, I have no idea what to expect from this thing. Um, so we're just going to get into it. Turbocharged BMW engine, 3.2 liter, man, that hood. I don't know if that's supposed to be a picture of the hood or it's supposed to look like the actual hood is open. I mean, I can appreciate the attention to detail that went into that thing. A little out of place, though. I kind of like it from this side, though. Not so much from this side, man. But uh, we're going to take her out for a rip nonetheless here. Now that red line coming awfully quick. No grip whatsoever. Probably due to the fact that this car is super light. Wow. All right, let's see if we can get this thing to go straight for a few seconds. She just wants to hoon, ladies and gentlemen. That's the fifth gear we're breaking them loose. Once that turbo kicks in, man, them tires are just spinning even in sixth. Let's see if we can get them to spin in sixth. Yep, they spin. <laughs> wow, man. Okay, so this car, super impressive right now, man. What? Man, this thing's a beast here. This is an insane little drift car, man. Like, I'm just hammered down this whole time, and she just wants to go sideways by. Woo! Okay, let's see if we can uh, actually drift some little roads here. Second gear, that red line comes way too fast. You got to keep it in, like, third or fourth. Surprised there's no little drift zone over here. Oh, this handles like a dream, man. This is a cool little car right here. Ford Lotus, ladies and gentlemen. Did not know that was a thing. No, I, I, when I first read the name, I thought like, okay, Ford Lotus, maybe it was like, just like a car named like a Lotus that Ford had made. I don't know, before Lotus was like, I don't know, man, but what? Ford Lotus Cortina, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so let's get a little interior view here. Oh, did you see that hood view? That's pretty cool, actually, man. Oh, the Ford Cosworth. So this comes with the Cosworth motor in it. 16 valve. Uh, I don't know. Is that what's in this thing? Is that the 3.2 that's in this thing? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I was wrong this whole time because that does look like a, a six-cylinder in there. Well, the picture anyways. I don't know, man. Maybe that maybe this isn't a BMW engine. Maybe this is the Ford motor. I don't know too much about the Cosworth. I don't know its displacement or anything like that. But uh, maybe you guys do. Let me know down in the comment section. Oh, this thing's a powerhouse, man. It's so hard to control. But so much fun, man. So I mean, have we succeeded with our rat rod build? I think most certainly this thing looks ugly as sin. And it doesn't handle worth a crap, which I mean, let's be honest, most rat rods out there, that's the case, man. They're super fast, super insane, super over the top, and just not very practical, man. That's, that's kind of what I'm getting with this build right here, but uh, hits redline nicely, man. Taking her a little wide there, Squally. Woo. Wow, man. It's builds like this that really make me uh, thankful that I ask you guys for your requests. You know what I mean? Because I would never, never have thought about this build in a million years. And I mean, because, you know, I got the request. Here I am. 
you know, experiencing this super dope car in which otherwise I would not even have known that it existed, man. So this is the reason, ladies and gentlemen, this is the reason that I tell you guys, drop your request down in the comments section, man. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, sometimes I surprise myself, man. And this is one of those times. Um, but I'm thinking we are probably going to put an end to this video, as you guys can already gather. We are in our little parking spot. Um, so as always, if you guys did enjoy this one, don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more. And you are not subscribed yet, um, definitely subscribe because we got all kinds of different videos like this coming in the near future. And um, I think that's about it, man. Um, so yeah. I am your boy Denali, 8 to the K, Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching, man. And we're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Recovery of a lifetime. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh. Fuck. Yeah. Keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the racer. Oh, okay.